think it's like of the utmost importance for artists to be involved in community work. Honestly, music moves people. It connects to people in a way that sometimes a speech can't. So I feel like it is our job to be involved in community work. And if we're not involved in community work, then we failed. My name is Fauna Hughes. I use she, her pronouns. You can call me Fauna. Um, right now, we're in View Park, California, where I would come to my Aim for the Heart meetings. And basically, what we do is we teach emotional literacy through art. My favorite part is when I see people discover themselves. I was going into San Quentin prison for about a year, um, every other week. It, it was life-changing for me just because watching the people in there um, find new parts of themselves and find joy in things where there shouldn't be any joy or light where there shouldn't be any light is the best thing that this program has brought to me. If you could wait only a while, Aim for the Heart played a huge role in my life. It's where I found my voice, it's where I found my pen, and it's where I learned how to be a community worker. I still need time to you could There's infinite inspiration for me when it comes to black women. I pull from my mom's experiences, my sisters, my best friends. Black women have been my point of inspiration my whole life too. I feel like my perspective as a kid is like always looking up at a black woman. And also just so much love, like even mm -hmm. just meeting you for the first time, it's just there's there's a bond there. It's right. so easy. Yeah, there's just like this familiarity that like comes with being a black woman in America and, and also like in LA. In LA, for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, my name is Jazzy McGilbert and my pronouns are she, her. In my family, my mom is the person who shaped me the most, just watching her every day. That's who I wanted to be like. I opened Rep Club nine months after my mom passed away. I think growing up in South Central, and then I was going to school in West LA. I just wanted to shine a light on all of the beautiful people. And that's why this space is so colorful, because the people I grew up around are so colorful. And just to create a space for us, there wasn't a lot of space for me um, in these like predominantly white institutions that I went to school at. I didn't feel represented. I didn't feel represented on those bookshelves. I didn't feel represented in the classroom. I wanted to create a space where I felt really seen. That's really important, because we're, we're not alone out here. I think my mom is would be unbelievably proud of everything that I'm doing right now, and I wish she was here to help me with it all. She would have been like my right-hand woman, but I know this is only happening because of her. I think there's so much power in sharing your story. Mm -hmm. I think there's so mm -hmm. much that comes with that and so many people that will feel seen. And I think there's like, Something really cool about us black women collaborating with Levi's, which has represented Americana in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And I think black women have been left out of that definition. Right. And I, I'm like, what is America without black women? You exactly. Know? Like people need to see you because when they see you doing these things, they can picture themselves doing it. That's something that's like really important in my writing and like my music and the work that I do. You're giving permission to grow without like those borders of like fitting into a box. We as black women are not giving our flowers in real time. Something has to change. You're giving permission for the next generation or like the people who are looking up to you to be their full selves.